Hello, I'm Simon Kensington Fellows from Kensington SEO and this is another in our series of local business uh, website audits for companies that are based in and around the Northamptonshire area. And the purpose of these uh, audits, these little quick audits, is to offer some insights um, and some advice on how business owners can improve their websites so that they uh, rank higher in Google, therefore getting more targeted visitors onto the site, and also looking at the conversion um, of the site to make sure that when the visitors do land on the site that they um, actually take the action that the business owner would like. So with that being said, I'm going to get right into it. Now these sites um, are chosen completely at random, uh, so I've not looked at this site. This is the first time. Um, but one of the things, a couple of things that I noticed right off the bat um, from a usability point of view, um, and that's really asking the questions that a new visitor would ask, and that is, uh, what is it, what's the site about, and what's in it for me? And I can see that this site is about PR. There is a big um, image here on the slider that says it's about PR. Uh, there's another headline here, what do we do at Ballyhoo? So I can see that if I'm interested in uh, looking at engaging a uh, PR company, then this may well be the right place for me. A um, couple of things from a trust point of view that might put a potential user off is that this image here, the logo image, is broken. So that's not displaying properly. Um, the, up here, we are running a non-secure version of the website. So there's no green padlock. Um, so at the moment, Google Chrome is issuing this little exclamation mark. What's going to happen shortly is that you're going to get a warning up here saying this site is not secure. So it would be um, in the best interest to get a site on an SSL certificate. Now, I think this is probably a, there we go, it's a WordPress website. And so that's really easy to do and it needn't cost you anything with, uh, you can use the Let's Encrypt SSL program or you can use something like Cloudflare, which is a, a content distribution network which enables you to um, load your, it helps you to load your site really, really fast but they also give you a free SSL certificate as well. Um, and you can get all that sorted with a, a plugin on your WordPress website. So definitely a good idea to uh, get this addressed. Um, and of course, this broken image for the logo here. Looking at the, the what is it that we do, is it for me kind of thing, um, this headline here is what we do. It might be um, better to actually say what it is that you do uh, here in a big headline. So as I'm scrolling through it, I, the, you know, the first thing that kind of hits me is yes, this is what Ballyhoo do, and so it's worth my while reading on further. Um, as we go through, it's a very nicely designed site. It's got all of the the kind of the right things that you want on a site. It's got um, testimonials. It's got some news, it's got some um, trust signals here um, showing that the member of the Chamber of Commerce. It's got tweets uh, being shown, social signals. So, uh, so that's good as long as these are tweets that are reasonably uh, recent, then that's always a good thing. Um, and a big contact form here where somebody can fill in. Um, what it is that they want uh, to have some help with. And then we've got an extract from our blog. Uh, we've got our privacy policy here. So that's uh, an important uh, aspect. Uh, what we haven't got is a cookie consent pop-up. Now, uh, to comply with the European Union legislation, you should really get a pop-up um, saying, uh, asking, whether or not the user uh, gives permission. So again, again, you can get a free plugin for WordPress, which will address that in uh, just a matter of clicks. 
but from a legal point of view it is important that um, that you comply with the legislation on that uh, right so all in all very nice looking site I wonder whether or not the images here these sliders they're very popular but they do to cake up an awful lot of screen uh, real estate and you do wonder sometimes whether or not they might be better um, used to actually provide some more information from uh, that would be interesting to the the visitor more about what it is that you do and how you can help them um, and why they should uh, they should use you so um, you might find that uh, even putting some extra content uh, overlay text overlays on these images um, might help they don't click anywhere so they are just purely for decoration really um, so you might find that you could um, find a better way of, of using that um, real estate even putting a little video in there of your uh, telling people what you do uh, might be a good way to use that real estate better and more effectively so just going to move over to um, some of the little, little tests that we look at um, here searching for the company I can see that there is a Google um, my business page which is um, really good in the right circumstances then this will come up in the maps um, which is the the top part of a local search so that's really useful to make sure that that's more likely to happen then there are some things that we can do on the page um, to make sure that um, the address that we have here um, is exactly the same as the address on the website and as we can see here there's a difference between how the address is configured here and how it is configured here now Google isn't clever enough to know that uh, that is exactly the same as that so to benefit uh, to enable Google to match the two together these need to be consistent and that's what we call NAP consistency that's name address and phone number they all need to be um, exactly the same so that's something that could be uh, easily addressed to make sure that um, the address and uh, uh, details are the same so moving on to some of the other issues we're looking at a Google test Google is um, indexing and ranking pages by how their mobile site is optimized and so it's called the mobile first index now this is Google's own page speed test um, speed obviously is very important on a mobile device and over half the searches that are done on Google now are done via a mobile device so it's important that we are optimizing our pages making them lean um, and loading quickly and that the images that we use and the way in which the page is laid out uh, make sense on a smaller screen so as we can see here we've got a very poor mobile uh, score so that needs to be addressed really because otherwise you will find that um, the page suffers in the uh, in the search engine rankings here we can see that again even on the desktop version it doesn't fare much better so there are uh, lots of opportunities there to optimize the page better for speed uh, I've got a speed test here as we can see um, we've got some very mixed results here from a, a web page test is a um, very well respected page speed uh, analyzer and as we can see we've got um, uh, lots of issues that uh, need to be addressed the image compression is good um, first time to buy it that's often a hosting issue so um, there's a possibility to look at the, the actual hosting that the pages, the website is on. If it's on a uh, shared hosting, then that's not helping it. Um, and we've got no cache. There's a plugin that you can put on uh, within the, uh, the website, which will help to um, improve that. So that, that should be fairly easy to, uh, to fix. Um, looking at structured data now structured data is an awesome tool it's a bit of code that you put in the back end of your website 
and it tells Google exactly what your business is. It gives it's an opportunity for you to be able to describe your business and your website in the way that Google understands it. So it, it's really a no-brainer to making sure that your page is marked up properly with um, structured data. Now here we've got some website um, uh, uh, markup, which is good. But website markup is really limiting insofar as it really only says uh, what the website is. It doesn't tell you anything about the business. And when you're wanting to be found in search for, for a variety of queries, um, you're missing out. And now we've got some review markup here, which is really, really good because there were some testimonials on the home page, which was um, good. And the review markup, that will, um, in the right circumstances, add the golden stars in the search results which is really good because it does help people and hey, it makes your your listing stand out in the organic search um, and also gives that um, element of trust as well but unfortunately we have um, errors on all three of these so the markup um, hasn't been uh, reviewed uh, hasn't been marked up properly so that needs to be corrected otherwise you're not benefiting from that at all. Now for uh, businesses the best markup that you can use is probably for a PR company professional services and you can put so much information in a professional services markup um, that you um, would be amazed so um, looking at how you can add that markup to your site, I think is um, really, really important. Uh, looking at the amount of words on this page, there's been some tests recently that show that the websites that rank highest have got the most words on them. Um, depending on your competitors, that can be anywhere from sort of 500 words all the way up to a couple of thousand words. Um, and as long as that content is well written and it's relevant to what it is that you do, then the more content, the better, really. A lot of times we look at a website from an aesthetic point of view. Um, and, you know, really we need to think of pay web pages not so much as glossy brochures, um, perhaps from a print uh, offline world, but from a, a content uh, online world and to having lots of content that's useful uh, will help get your site ranked better. Now this is good, it's got 500 uh, odd words which is um, kind of the bare minimum so that's good. There are um, a mixture of some of the important kind of keywords, PR, branding um, and, uh, and some other um, keywords here that uh, you might want to be found for. So that's a good start. Might be that there's a possibility with some of these keywords to optimize the content better to be found uh, for a wider variety of keywords. Um, here, this is looking at the OG data, the open graph data. So this is what your page looks like when it's shared on Facebook. And if you don't, um, if you don't uh, uh, provide this information, then uh, Facebook will just grab anything it likes from your site and it might not be um, the best image for promoting your business so here we've not optimized it for any particular image so it's just grabbed the first thing that it found which was this image from the slider uh, so you know it's a wasted opportunity really because this doesn't really uh, promote your business um, as well as is possible so you can specify the actual image you can have uh, some call to action on there which would really help to increase the click-throughs from uh, Facebook you can also have this set up to actually show a video as well so mention that a video might be better on the home page uh, in place of the uh, the image sliders so again you could use that image that video here uh, and then you can also tell it here if this um, this might be better optimized as a call to action uh, rather than just a kind of a description of, of what the business is. So there's room for improvement on your open graph data uh, and the way it's seen on Facebook when it's shared. This here is just a quick look at the pages that are indexed in Google. And um, we can see that we've got 88 pages. Now often 
people think, oh, I haven't got 88 pages on my website. And that's because uh, if you're one of those people, then there's been lots of other bits that um, WordPress creates that have been indexed. For example, here is a prime candidate. Uh, we have here these pages that are being indexed. We've got they're known as the tag pages, uh, tag pages, category pages, more tag pages, and this is bad news for your Google rankings because these pages um, they show uh, duplicate content, and duplicate content is where you have the same content repeated throughout your site. Google doesn't like that. Uh, it can penalize your site for that. Uh, other instances of category pages, again, where you've got duplicate content, or it might be that it's just what's known as thin content, where there are um, pages on the site that don't have very much content at all. Here, this is bad news as well. These are probably the default pages that came with the theme um, when it was set up. So these pages are being indexed um, by Google. And so if we look at these, they are the default. Uh, here we go, you see. Um, so this is, this is what people could find out about your site on uh, Google. And so this is all about, um, it's been set up for a financial company. So that's really not who you are. So um, and again here there's another style of homepage which has been indexed. So people will find this. So here we go. We've got more another style of homepage. So really want to get those pages uh, de-indexed from Google as soon as possible. Um, so there's a few pages there that uh, a few bits of issues that need to be looked at. Um, we've looked at the page speed test. So one other thing I want to just look at is a tool that we use to look at the technical um, SEO on a page. And we can see here, these are all of the pages on your site, the 88 odd pages. These are just the HTML ones. So if we show all, I think we've got uh, lots, lots more here. So we've got all these tag pages that we saw before. Um, various WordPress um, pages uh, that are that should be taken care of with if you have something like um, Yoast SEO plugin let's see if that's uh, no don't seem to have that listed here but if you do have that then that can take care of all of those uh, yeah we have got the Yoast plugin here so setting the Yoast plugin up correctly will get rid of uh, those duplicate pages so um, that needs to be uh, a setting that can be tweaked in there for you um, looking at the response codes these are you're looking here for 200 page with 200 so we've got one with 400 um, so this is a broken link this looks like um, when it was originally set up there's a link somewhere from the original um, site when it was developed so you need to fix that broken link there Google doesn't like broken links we've got a 301 moved permanently page that's okay 301s are good now 302s um, temporary redirects not a good idea either have it as a 301 or um, we'll have the uh, actual page there so we've got some more 302s so we need to address those page status issues. Um, page titles. Now page titles are what Google uses to understand what the content and the purpose of that page is. So we really need to take this opportunity of making sure the title is keyword rich, is branded um, and is useful for us to be found. So we've got no pages that are missing which is good. Um, duplicate we've got uh, issue here with all these pages being indexed um, with these capture pages so there's an issue there that needs to be looked into um, there's a limit really on the, the length of the title tag you really want to keep it between sort of 65 and 70 characters um, and so there are some titles here that could do with being trimmed a bit 
um, meta descriptions uh, we have got missing meta descriptions these are on the tag pages so when we get rid of those tag pages um, by and large they will not be relevant but we've got some uh, pages here that are missing meta descriptions um, meta descriptions we've got some duplicate ones here so we need to address those and we've got some long meta descriptions here meta description is the little snippet that you see in a search engine underneath the main link back to your website and it is an opportunity to uh, basically write an ad for your um, site so why is it somebody should click this link instead of somebody else's so you should make it compelling you should give it uh, give the user a real good reason to click your page instead of somebody else's not only does it get more clicks to your site which may lead to more conversions but the more clicks that you get for a search query the higher Google will rank your site for that search query so um, it's very important that you have good meta descriptions meta keywords they've been dropped so it's good that you haven't got any um, now h1 every page should have an h1 tag this is a word and it should be really the same as the title for that page again it is a one of the biggest indicators to google about what the page is about so they should be keyword rich and they should match the title tag um, we've got some uh, no missing ones which is good we've got duplicate ones so we need to get those sorted um, and we've got some long title uh, long h1 tags again we need those to be shortened down a little bit h2 tags again um, this is an opportunity to use a variation of your keyword so if you think of your page as having a title page and a h1 then the h2 should be a uh, like a synonym of that keyword so we've got lots of duplicate ones here so they need to be addressed uh, images that are missing alt text that needs to be uh, looked at an image Google can't tell what an image is so there's an opportunity to put a piece of text there to describe that image um, and so you should be using um, keywords in those descriptions so that Google can better understand what the page is about um, and we've got a few large images so it would be from a speed point of view we looked at speed being a problem earlier uh, looking at optimizing uh, those to reduce the the weight or the heaviness of those uh, images so that they load quicker um, that is pretty much uh, a quick run through of um, some of the issues that I found with this page I mean looking at it from the outset it's a really nice professional clean um, well put together website there's a few conversion issues that I think might help to improve um, the generation of leads and there are certainly uh, quite a few technical SEO issues that need to be addressed so if you want any further information um, feel free to get in touch I'm more than happy to give you some pointers to help you to do it yourself or more than happy to uh, help do it for you so you can get in touch with us at kensingtonlinkbuilding.com. Thanks for watching.